Comrades and friends, the African National Congress has just concluded a two-day NEC Lekhotla in Tswane. The Lekhotla focused on a number of issues, including the current status of our economy, job creation and land reform. It further engaged on issues of governance, social development and broader transformation these will be elaborated on by the Secretary General of the ANC tomorrow. We thought it was important for the President of the ANC to clearly and unambiguously articulate the position of the organization on two matters that are of critical importance to the economy of our country and the well-being of its people. The first is the implementation of the ANC's resolution on land reform. The second is about the current economic environment. On land reform, the ANC applauds our people from all walks of life, including people in the rural areas, farm laborers, the unemployed, the landless, urban residents, farmers, traditional leaders, intellectuals for expressing their views on this critical matter. Our people have been expressing their views on the land question openly and without any fear or favor. They have been putting forward solutions on how the land question can be resolved. This is the constitutional democracy that we fought for. The ANC reaffirms its position that the Constitution is a mandate for radical transformation both of society and the economy. A proper reading of the Constitution on the property clause enables the state to effect expropriation of land with just and equitable compensation and also expropriation without compensation in the public interest. It has become patently clear that our people want the Constitution to be more explicit about expropriation of land without compensation as demonstrated in the public hearings. There is also a growing body of opinion in our country that the Constitution as it stands, does not impede expropriation of land without compensation. The ANC Lekhotla reaffirmed its position that a comprehensive land reform program that enables equitable access to land will unlock economic growth by bringing more land in South Africa to full use and enable the productive participation of millions more South Africans in the economy. Accordingly, the ANC will, through the parliamentary process, finalize a proposed amendment to the Constitution that outlines more clearly the conditions under which expropriation of land without compensation can be effected. The intention of this proposed amendment is to promote redress, advance economic development, increase agricultural production and food security. It will also transform the unjust spatial realities in urban areas. To accelerate agrarian reform, the ANC has further directed government to urgently initiate farmer support programs in depressed areas before the first rains this year. This should include supporting farmers with tools, tractors, fertilizers, seeds, extension services, finance and access to key infrastructure. Our economy is facing serious challenges at the moment. The recently released figures on unemployment are quite worrying. Given this economic environment, the Lekhotla directed government to move with urgency to develop and implement a stimulus package 
to ignite growth in our economy that will lead to the creation of jobs, especially for young people and women. These efforts should focus on rural communities and townships. This stimulus package will be based on existing budgetary resources and the pursuit of new investments while remaining committed to fiscal prudence. It will comprise, amongst others, on the following. Increased investment in public infrastructure, increased support for entrepreneurship and employment opportunities for the youth and women, as well as small and medium enterprises. Trade support measures for sectors such as sugar products affected by big import surges. Ensure that procurement focuses on localization. Training for unemployed young people with the skills necessary to compete in a rapidly changing economy. As deployees of the ANC in government, we have committed that the work to develop this stimulus should start now to ignite growth, to tackle unemployment and to mitigate the effects of the rising cost of living. We call on all South Africans to work with us in developing a social compact for economic inclusion, economic growth and jobs for all. I thank you.